Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen! Now, in this episode, I said that we would go and continue the main quest, finally. Fuck off, Renard, I already bought shit from you, and now I'm poor! Now I can't even feed my non-existent family! I guess what I'm saying is I can't make my tiny dwarf even fatter. God, that sounds like an innuendo. I am not getting an erection from money. Because here in England, that would require rubbing the Queen's 80-year-old face on your genitals. Okay, Cabal, you're really freaking loud for some reason. Uh, where the hell are we going? Am I even going the right way? What do we even need to do? We need to go to somewhere called Grand Soren, which I believe is the capital city. Because it means, like, Grand Soren. Uh, fucking whatever. Let's get out of here. Now, I don't exactly know where that is, but it's probably going to be past the Witchwood, which we won't need to visit for quite some time. God damn it, stamina and Please, someone finger me. Someone finger me. Come on, I need some motivation. Or they could just not. Right, where the hell are we going? Is that a sheep? That is definitely not a sheep, but there is a person up there. Oh, of course. God damn bandits. Now, I actually have some, um, some new attacks. Cutting, I mean, biting wind got upgraded to cutting wind. And we also, oh my god, okay. What in... Fuck, Lotta! Was that Lotta, or do they have some kind of, like, uh, mage on their team? I haven't seen an enemy mage just yet, so that's gonna be interesting. Jesus Christ, though, these guys are powerful. Why the hell do I already have to take on guys like this? Oh my god, okay, we need to save up. I actually have armor now, too, so it's not just because we suck level-wise, or, like, equipment-wise. Right Jesus Christ, they're tearing me to shreds! Yeah, we really, really need to get better at this game. Let's use Scarlet Kisses on this prick, and I'm actually gonna heal, because holy fuck, we're basically dead. Uh, we have a lot of green warish. We might as well just eat that up like a good little boy eating our greens. There we go. Now we're gonna take a very large hit to the penis as soon as I exit this, so... Ow. Oh, he missed. But now we're slowly walking away like a fucking retard. There you go. Jesus Christ, why is, like, the frame rate? It's not even the frame rate. The animations just drop a few frames for no reason. Ow, okay. That is a huge fucking attack. How am I meant to kill you? I run out of stamina so goddamn fast. I need a finger in my ass. Someone finger me. Lotta. Lotta, that's not what I asked for. Touch me inappropriately. Okay, that's just not gonna happen. I'm not exactly sure screaming touch me inappropriately was the best pickup line, but hey, it's all I got. Must absolutely suck in combat. Like... I know- oh, wow, okay, Cabal's dead. Because, like, Striders are hard enough to beat strong enemy- look at that motherfucker! Look how powerful he looks! I don't know how it expects us to take out people like him. Maybe we're just meant to, like, run past them, but... I'm not a I don't enjoy running away from fights, especially not, like, as soon as I've started the game, which I basically just have. Also, god damn, do these attacks take up a lot of stamina. I don't know how to increase my stamina. If there's not a way to increase stamina in this game, I am definitely, 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 definitely gonna get a mod that removes the fucking stamina bar, because this is fucking insane. I mean, I could always just go into my inventory and take some stamina items, but going into my inventory every five seconds does not seem like a very fun way to play the game. Let's take that motherfucker out. Who's left? Is it just the big dudes? Yes, it is. We haven't actually used my bow. Do I have any new bow attacks? I have full bend. Yes, I do. Now, all we gotta do here is pull it back really goddamn far, just like my foreskin, and then tear him to shreds. The enemy's not your foreskin. Um, unless you're a Jew, don't tear your foreskin to shreds. Cutting wind is always my favorite. I love just charging towards them and tearing out their fucking intestines. Um, hello? Where the hell did you come from? Why are you still alive? You're just a pathetic normal dude. You know, you probably shouldn't have waited till all your powerful friends were dead to come and offer me your nipples. You should have done that from the start, man. I'm a big fan of early nipples. Well, there isn't really anything of interest other than this cage. I don't know what this is. Is this what they use to cook? It looks like they put something in there. Maybe it's like a torture device. Can I smash it to fucking shreds? No, I can't. It looks like you can do something with it, though. It's glowing. Why the fuck is he glowing? I have no idea. Oh, well. We'll leave that for another day. Uh, where can I climb up that? Is that where I need to be? I need to check the map. The map! I wish there was a freaking mini-map for this game, but there never will be unless I get a mod. Now, there are so many mods I want to get, but I'm just a really bad modder, so I never really know what I'm doing. Are apples useful? They'll probably give me a little bit of health. Ah, oh, come the fuck back, you prick! There you go. Oh, wow, I could so easily be William Tell, except, you know, if William Tell was a disgusting- What the hell? That's not what wolves look like. Unless William- Oh, fuck off, 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 fu
I wasn't even on the ground. How were you, like, grabbing onto me? That's not how wolves work in this game. Don't lie to me, you cunt. All right, um, time for a helm splitter. Even though they don't have helms, but I really love the look of that attack. Apparently, it does way more damage if you do it from a high place. So let's see what- Oh, they're all dead. That's depressing. Helm splitter! <laughs> oh, I killed myself. That would have looked way cooler if I didn't ram my penis directly into the floor, because no one likes mud fucking. Especially moles. Like, imagine, they're just done building their hills that they spent years on, and your penis just slams straight through the top. Maybe it'd make, like, a nice ornament for them. I don't know, I'm not a mole. I don't know what they like decorating their house. Although penises aren't really my first go-to thing for wall decorations. Testicles are way better for hanging on the wall. Penises are more like paperweights. Oh my god, with the amount of cock sucking you do, you'd think you'd be able to hold air in a little bit better, right? Jesus. Okay, let's go and talk to you. Are you a special? Well, you're probably gonna get a lot of whinging out of me, considering how fucking injured I am right now. Let's talk to you. Is that all you have to say? Fuck you. Oh, I wanted to throw him, but I didn't get to, so I just stroked his ass a little bit. Hello, I thought you were a man, but you're not a man, and there's a very, very beautiful bison. Can I murder your bison? Probably a bad idea, not great first impressions. Uh, please someone heal me so I don't have to listen to them at the quietest possible volume the whole time. Oh, god damn it, oh well. Like as not, the cart will draw beasts along the way. Stay vigilant, but fear not. We walk with the Arisen. Slayer of Hydra. Yeah, and also the guy who gets totally fucked up by the one bandit by the side of the road every day. Ah, that's better. Oh, is that all I get to do? Can someone heal me? Jesus, Lotto, you are useless. There you go, finally. Do you guys have anything interesting? Not you, Koku, be a piece of shit. Okay, that's exactly what you said the last time. So we just got to- Whoa, is this just the Hydra's head? So, uh, yeah. You, you come often? Oh, wait, no, that, that's not the pickup line, is it? That's disgusting. Let's get out of here. By the way, the answer is yes. At least 19 times a day, my penis is basically a husk of a human being right now. Human being? Yeah, I have literally a human being hanging off of my crotch. He, like, gives me advice. He's like a little fairy. Let's get out of here. It brings a whole new meaning to thinking with your dick. Let's cut you in fucking half. There you go. Oh my god, that was awesome. Three cutting wins in a row. Where the fuck did you come from? Get out of here. Yeah, I think I just ran out of stamina, so don't expect too much out of me. Oh no, okay. My stamina's holding up pretty good for now. I guess when I don't have to run 5,000 meters every two seconds, it's not that bad. Can I stand on it? Man, let me ride the Hydra. I haven't put my dick in that thing's throat for like 20 goddamn years. It's been like a year since we did the Hydra mission. Like, in real time. Let's just go ahead and shoot up these things. I don't- Oh, wow, okay, now you're just on the ground. I guess that's how striders are meant to deal with flying things, because we don't have like the Skyward Slash or whatever the thing was called that the, uh, that the fighters have, so maybe Cock Hoover's gonna have to deal with these motherfuckers a little bit more. Goodbye, there you go. Wait a minute. Oh, Strider friend just like ripped him out of the sky. Why can't I do that? Right, I'm bringing you with me. Very heavy. Damn, they're not even that heavy of a corpse. Let's throw you onto the cart. Oh, I guess the one random half-naked bird lady isn't as important as the Hydra's head. I gotta admit, in my illustrious gaming career, I don't think I've ever seen a more de depressed looking escort mission character. Look at this poor little bison. Looks like every single member of its family just died in a brutal car crash, and we're still forcing it to drag around giant reptilian faces. If there's one thing you take away from this video today, let it be this. If you are a bison, please for fuck's sake don't let your family of bison drive cars, that is all. <laughs> I don't know why I'm carrying around this giant explosive barrel of semen, by the way. Huh. Is semen flammable? I mean, I know you can, like, set fire to farts, but I've always been a little bit too afraid to, like, take a lighter anywhere near my genitals, so, um... Anyone anyone with, like, a fiery penis, please let me know in the comments. I, I'd be interested to know. <laughs> you can tell this fucking game's Japanese when they give the goddamn bird people boobs! Who is jerking off to this shit?! God, you're taking all the penis attention away from my beautiful, beautiful voice. If you put boobs on the screen, I really hope there aren't nipples. I don't want to have to censor the entire fucking video. Please, God, don't let there be nipples. 
Okay. At least we cut through these guys like fucking paper. Because I feel like now that we've done all those, um... All those really hard side quests and side battles, we now fuck up norm the enemies we're meant to be fucking up very goddamn easily. Get out of the sky, Hoppy. What the fuck was that? Don't burn me to death, friends. You're meant to be here to save my life, not fucking cut it short. Even though, you know, I'd sort of appreciate it if you could. I don't think this thing wants to survive any longer than it has to. Its entire life is just wanting to die, just like me, see? Even though it might not look like me, as far as you guys know. It's still sort of based off my suicidal thoughts. Let's pick up this explosive. Where the hell are these things? I'm just gonna hold on to this until, uh, oh my god, my hands are fucking shaking. How weak are we? Jesus Christ. I like how he's making out with the barrel of semen. He is in such dire need of semen. He's pressed his face all the way into it. Freaking look at him. Look at him go. He is really eager to take a face full of cock slime. So, where the fuck are the enemies? I swear we haven't seen one in kind of a while now. Oh, there's one. I, I like how he just fucks off. He's like, oh god, you're disgusting. Oh my god. When I'm more disgusting than the monsters, there's se a serious problem going on. Ow. Okay. Fucking jihad harpy. What the fuck was that? Can I grab you out of the sky? Yes, I can. This one isn't even dead, right? Are you alive? Uh, doesn't seem very alive. Oh, it is alive. That was kind of pathetic. Oh, well, let's take him out. No, I've had to move all of my attacks, so I'm not sure what's on each key yet. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue for a little bit of a while. Where the hell are the enemies? I want to hold on to this full bend because the attack looks so cool, but I don't think I'm able to. Is this Grand Soren? Is it just this random fucking cottage? Nothing good happens in cottages. There's either a witch in there or a rapist or both. Oh, God, we could totally left it behind the bison. Is missing his daddy. Come on. Oh, does it have a little beard? Oh my god. That I, I want a beard like that bison. Oh wait, it doesn't even have a beard. I guess that explains why I'm clean shaven every day. Oh shit, let's run it. Oh wow, okay. I thought it was going to murder the bison. I was about to take a bullet for a bison I met five minutes ago. I'm the most trusting person ever. What if this bison stabs me in the back with its... Oh god, it's really shaking its ass, isn't it? It's like a seductress. It like draws you in with its hairy bison anus. And then it just, like, it stabs you in the back with its hairy bison anus. It's a very sharp anus, trust me. I've taken a lot of bison anuses in the face in my past. I don't know why. I was in some weird shit as a child. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I have to eat the fucking rock if I expect to live. Come here, rock. I love you. Well, that was probably the worst idea I've ever had in my entire life. Never jump headfirst into a cock, ladies. Right, let's do this again. I'll be right back. Well, I quickly went and take a look in the cottage. Are you guys totally useless? Anthony and Stone? You're just gonna look in the fire, you guys fucking cunts. Let's get out of here. I was expecting something, like, really interesting in that cottage. Seems to be a few, uh, chests around, which is a little bit of a saving grace and a fairy hood. I mean, that'd suit me perfectly. I'd make an amazing fairy, right? I mean... Just like my little fairy penis. Where the hell are we going from here? Oh, fuck off! Okay, we're not going down there. Uh, is there anything around the back of the cottage? I've sort of just... Oh, fuck! Sir George is getting raped! We need to get out of there! Oh, Christ, I'm nowhere near! I just quickly went... Oh, it's the rock that murdered me and my family! Uh, are they gonna be safe? That sounds pretty safe, right? That just sounds like a friendly little meal. Oh, God, they're all dead. Oh, Christ! Hoppies do so much damage to the car! I guess I've just- they have not taken a single bit of damage so far while I've been protecting them. That is insane. Please someone finger me. I am so in need of a fingering right now. I'm bending over for it perfectly. There you go. Okay. Oh, where the hell are we going from here? Oh my god, these rocks, man. I guess that was like- oh no, my poor little bison buddy. He's begging for the penis. Why can I kick the bison? Well, we can make him charge. Okay, come on bison, let me keep dicking you. Dick the bite ow, okay, don't dick the bison, sometimes he's gets angry, and sometimes he puts wheels over your head, and it does damage to him, ow. On a side note, dick the bison sounds like an amazing children's party game. He's not a bison at all, is he? I've just been saying bison this whole time. He is anything but a fucking bison. Uh, where the fuck is everyone? There's no one even trying to murder me for like the last 20 seconds, this is... Very unusual for this guy. Oh, here they are. My good old murder friends. Fuck these guys up. 
They're better- they're much easier to fight than harpies, because the harpies aren't constantly trying to fuck the bison. I mean, wolves aren't trying to constantly fuck the bison. And you can take them out from pretty far- oh fuck, here comes the harpies. Why did I even speak? It just makes me fucking suffer. There we go. Oh my god, the bison is so fucked! Bison is fucked! How the fuck are we meant to deal with this? How many are there? There's gotta be a few more harpies. There we go. Let's take you out. Luckily, the harpies go for me rather than the bison at the moment. God damn. Does Law have literally every type of spell? I've seen her use ice, I've seen her use fire, I've seen her use fucking everything. This is quite clearly a chest plate. No, no, you don't think to take the giant metallic armor. You think, oh wow, this rag looks really cool, doesn't it? Uh, let's just smash through there. Okay, the bison is just about living. That's a coin pouch. Please give me the coin pouch. I saw a bow somewhere too, but I think one of them took it. Fine, I'll let you keep the bow, even though only fucking Kabow is a bow user. I don't know why you took that, Lotta, but whatever. Just fuck our way through there, because arrow penis is the best penis. Oh, we're right here. I get the feeling enemies won't exactly be gathering outside, you know, the capital of the world. That just doesn't exactly seem like the best. For fuck's sake! <laughs> Why? Maybe this is like a goblin battalion. Maybe we're coming here to like murder a ton of fucking goblins in Grand Sorin. I have no idea. Let's pick this the fuck up and let's bomb them. Oh, well, that was totally useless. And that's that damage was from the bot. This is the world's toughest fucking goblin. Oh, never mind. It's because I was hitting him in the goddamn shield on his goddamn side. But that was pretty awesome. We launched him into the sky and Lotta just rammed him with a fireball. What is that? Some kind of. Stay calm. There must be ought here that will open the gate. Well, I see a dildo, so first thing I'm gonna do is put my hands all over that shit. Can I use it? Yes, I can. Oh, wow, the dildos fix any situation, right? I mean, when has a situ situation not been saved by an orgasm? I mean, every war is always fixed with an orgasm. I mean, ISIS bombing everyone in the entire world. If you just suck their dicks like once, they'll calm down. I'll be like, oh, wow, these British people are kind of cool. We won't bomb them anymore. They'll suck my dicks. Let's rape this guy in the face. Make for the capital. This isn't the capital. Are you joking? This is literally just a goblin battalion. And yes, Lotter can heal the bison. Well done, Lotter. I love you. Lotter is probably... Actually, this team is just a really good... Um, it's, a, it's a really good collection of pawns. I really like it. We got Lotter, who actually does some really good healing and some really good combat. We've got, um, Cock Hoover, who's just the fucking brute of the situation. And then we've got Cabal, who's my favorite, who just tears everyone to pieces. I wonder if the person who plays, uh, who, like, made Cabal is one day gonna see this video. And, like, I've just been using her totally wrong. Oh, well, let's look. For fuck's sake, Cabal, you're no longer my favorite. Cock Hoover just got us killed! I was just talking about ISIS! Cock Hoover, that didn't mean you have to join them! Jesus, he just jihadded all over us! Wow. He's the one I made as well. He's the least loyal. What is round here? We got some kind of cave system? Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, check that out later because I'm pretty sure that's not where the bison wants to go. So does kicking the bison always do damage or is that just because he rammed me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it drains his health if he runs. Let's not do that. Jesus, there are so many different like ways this path splits off. This game is so open. There's, like, more shit around every corner than Skyrim if those places are actually, like, populated or have something in them. Oh, well, let's tear these places, the, let's tear these goblins the fuck up. Let's give them 13 different orifices that we can stick our dick inside. I would attack if I wasn't blowing myself. I'm sorry, Cock Hoover. Ask me later. There you go. Oh, my God. Okay, I just... I stabbed Cock Hoover in the penis rather than actually helping. Wait, is Cock Hoover a man or a woman? I forget every episode. I don't think it really matters. They're sucking our dicks. That's a good thing in my book. It doesn't matter what gender you are, unless you're sucking my penis. There we go. Is this Grand Soren? It is way more impressive than that one last thing I thought was Grand Soren. I was like, is this really it? It's just like another goddamn, uh, just another, like, um, battalion encampment thing. Jesus. Sorry if I'm, um, if my commentary's a little bit weird today. I haven't recorded in several days because I went to a concert. I did some other shizzle. Yeah, it's been a while, so let's just launch one gun. That was fucking useless. Oh my god, I actually killed him, though. I thought, like, tiny throws did no damage. That's so great. I can murder anyone I want with a throw. Yeah, I, I noticed. Surely there aren't gonna be any more enemies around here. Surely they're actually staying away from the one place where they're always gonna die no matter what happens to them. Oh, great, bandits. Why is no one in Grand Seren dealing with these? They're like... 
Oh yeah, the most important delivery of bisons in the entire world. Yeah, we'll let them deal with it. It'll be a little bit of fun for them, right? We won't have to save their lives. Whatever, let's cut you guys to shreds. Oh my god. Also, my voice is a little bit, like, raspy. It's because that concert I was singing louder than the entire band. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Did you just electrocute me? Yeah, I really appreciate that, Lotta. Try and murder your master. None of these guys are loyal. Jesus. I could really do with some health, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get to Grand Seren where we can just sleep anyway. And I'm pretty sure sleeping actually brings your health back. Oh, okay, great. Make fucking sayings that mean literally nothing. Whatever, let's make it out of here. We've literally been on like 19 roads that don't lead to Grand Seren, Kokuba. And for that, I am soaking you in this ward I missed. And for that, I am lifting it. And for that, I'm lifting. And for that, I'm. There you go, finally. After a lot of ass stroking, we finally get you over my shoulder. Now I'm gonna break your back on this. Th oh, I missed. Fucking hell. Okay. Cock Hoover gets off lightly this time. Are there literally no more enemies? Bison, hurry the fuck up. I gotta kick him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. I dicked a bison and Cabal got trampled. First world problems. Let's do it again. This is gonna be way easier than I thought it was. Like. If you actually have the bison going vaguely fast, this isn't as bad as it as it seems. Uh, what is that? Is that an enemy? That's another bison. Oh my god, we can like we can start a bison family. Or maybe they hate us. Do you hate me? I can talk to the bison. Oh, he doesn't seem very happy. Hey, I can climb on you. Let's ride him into victory, or just you know get blown. Ah! Okay, if I get killed by a bison after finishing this entire quest, I will kill myself. So I'm gonna go ahead. And need a little bit more green warriors, so that does not happen. Plus, it gets us back to basically full health. Please stop attacking the bison. Now, that bison probably isn't going to be very happy with us. And I was going to get blown by him. God, I love bestiality in the morning. Where the hell are we going? Can I lift up this brick? No, I can't. Why can I lift up some bricks and murder people with them, but not like every brick? That's depressing. Jesus Christ. Is that really the most interesting thing you have to say, Cockoover? After, you know, you literally just got trampled by a bison... Had your back broken on a rock, and you're like, oh, wow, we're in the capital. There's probably some merchants in here. If you've come to an impasse, and I have not come to an impasse. We're literally right here. Why are you trying to tell me this? Wait a minute. Why is it telling me to go there? Oh, because this is literally the place. Okay. I thought my marker was, like, meant to be on the bison. There are so many freaking bisons here. They're finally going to tell me that I can ride him. Oh, my God, this is the best day of my life. Can I hit him? I can stab the bison. Okay, let's not do that. Let's just make sure we ride into the city in style. And by that, I mean ride on the crotch of the bison. Can I get much lower? I don't think- Yes! There we go! We're a perfect crotch level. Oh, no, we're not. We fell out the other side. Come on, there you go. We're basically there. We're kind of being constantly humped by the bison. It looks like he's sort of, like, pregnant with us. But we're the alien from Alien, and we've just sort of, like, burst out of his chest. We're doing peace symbols. <laughs> That's how I wish I was born, man. Except, you know, not out of a bison, because that would make me a bison. And I don't really want to be a bison, to be honest. I'm quite happy being a human. What are you doing, Cabal? Why did I fall off? God damn it, the bison fucking hates me. I just got shit out. That was the most unceremonious birth ever. A Hydra's head is a fine prize. His grace will be pleased with the cause work. Yeah, but it'll probably be pretty unhappy that we didn't get the other 57 heads, right? And I'm not talking about the ones with necks underneath them. Walk proud through these streets, men. We are heroes to the people of Grand Sorin. Are we? Why? I get beaten up by bandits every fucking day. I'm basically useless right now. Don't act like I'm a god. There we go. Uh, am I rested? Do I have health back? I hope I have health back. Wait, it's the middle of the day. Am I going to wake up in the middle of the night? To offer my report to his grace. Why are you so quiet? I'll have words sent for you, friend. Pray, sojourn in the capital a while. Why are you suddenly French, too? I swear you weren't French a minute. Wait a minute, I want to give you my baguette! Step lively! Step lively! Oh, yay! That's not a French accent. Why did you do that? Who are you? Okay, he's admiring my ass. Let's turn around. Ah, fortune smiles upon me. Well met, sir, it is in. Please go away. I feel very attacked right now. My ass is not for your eyes. I'd say my eyes are up here, but I'm a midget, so that doesn't count. I am called Mason, if it please you. Where are you grabbing? It's not where my arm is. I'm a midget. You just went 
totally penis site. That's not okay. Now you're come to the capital, a conquering <laughs> hero. Maybe that's just how they you greet each other in this world. Just like, hello, time to grab your nuts. Right, what are we doing here? My word to you, begin with the pawns. Inquire about them here in Grand Sur. That guy's just rubbing himself in the background. I'm not that attractive. Jesus Christ, guys. Their kinds woven tight into the fate of the Arisen. If you know your destiny, know them. I definitely know how to do pawn shit. The items you have received have been distributed to you, your main pawn, and item storage. Game what was given to me then? I have no idea. I guess we should go check our storage though. Can I talk to you? What do you want to know? Ah, safe friend. Have you chanced upon a strange old man of late? Shady mean, queer mumblings. Oh, the shady queers? Yeah, I stumble upon them all the time. They call him the Elysian, a name I hear far too oft these days. What the hell is wrong with him? Well, the only old man, man I know is the pedophile who's trying to rape the girl I love. Myself. There you go. Learn more of the pawns. I don't know how. I know a lot about pawns. I know that I can throw them, and that is all that matters. Goodbye. Oh, you had quest knowledge for me, and There's I threw you away. Sarah. That's not good. Who the hell is Sarah? Okay, I don't want to completely carry on with the main quest, though. I feel like that's a battle. Look at those beautifully textured carrots. Just 2D pictures of literal carrots. Okay, hello. Why are you getting upset? Is it because I have my- is that because I have my weapons out? I don't know how to put them away. Don't humph me. I'm meant to be a hero, oh, aren't I? Unease, hey. Okay, you're saying the one thing- What? Why- why do people hate me? Uh, can I switch to my bow and then put it away? Yeah, there you go. No, I still take out my weapons. I finally secure past- I, I don't know how to make these people not hate me. Everyone's like, whoa, what are you doing? And I don't know what I'm May doing. I help you? Yeah, just, uh, okay, apparently no, you can't help me. What's in here? Seems they're closed. Why is everyone closed? Does no one want to show love to the Arisen? I guess not. Now, ooh, is this a side quest? The inn serves as a guild for local adventurers. Speak with the innkeeper. asa la 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 To recover health, learn skills, and manage your stored items. Well, I guess this means we can, um, see what we were given. Only things I really care about, though, is armor. We were giving this fairy hood. Who's that for? Magic practitioners? That's not me. We weren't really given anything else? Yeah, it doesn't really seem like we got anything else, so let's go ahead and talk to you. What do you want? Men of the core speak of? For plainer air than I'd expected. Plainer? I'm, how can you call this thing plain? It is anything but plain. Ah, forgive me. I spoke poorly. I simply imagined the sort of figure pulled right from legend. I mean... Nightmares? Do they count as legend? Because I'm definitely from your nightmares. Your wet nightmares. Like wet dreams, but you ejaculate even though everything around you is fucking horrible. Bray, allow me to begin anew. I am Asala, and this is my inn. Though we deal in a number of traits here. That sounds suspicious. Are you a prostitute? I hope this is the first of many visits, sir. I am at your service. Oh, Whoa, God, yeah, he's definitely a prostitute. Ooh. Yes, okay, I guess I wish to learn of the pawn. Then the shortest path to the answers you seek leads west from here. West? So they I literally need to go somewhere? Oh, there's literally a pawn it guild. A it sounds so weird. Everyone in my house thinks I'm just constantly screaming about pawn. I'm actually screaming about pawns. So it's just a very big difference. You have business with the guild. They'll let you pass. Thank you. Okay, well, I can rest for a lot of fucking money because apparently everything gets way more expensive here. Can I learn more skills? Why can the innkeeper teach me how to do all this shit? Okay, let me take a look through and I'll see what I can get. Oh, damn, I'm able to teach uh, Kokuva some things. So, I guess we can give... I'm just going to teach Kokuva everything I can find. What does Broadcut do? Falling back to avoid attacks. I don't know how to set Kokuva's skills. Maybe, I mean, I don't even know what I'd want to set. Down thrust, just because it has the word thrust in it, and that makes me giggle inside. Tusk toss. You throwing the leader of the EU, Donald Tusk, at them. I really hope so. He's my hero. Anyway, compass slash, just because his name is Donald Tusk. Not because I actually know anything about what he does. Uh, let's get that. And fresh, flesh skewer. There you go. And shield. We can do shield strike. We can do... Oh, springboard. Oh, that is so cool. I want to use that. Please let me jump off of your shield. Symbol attack, barrage attacks using the. Okay, we'll get that too. Uh, now on to me, which I will be right back for. Oh, it's you! Okay, do you have anything good for us? See you again. 
you remember, no, yes? No, no, not at all. You're, you're just another woman with yes. boobs to me. But anyway, I what do you have? Can I buy anything decent from you? Because we are a rich, rich little shit right now. Uh, although I don't think you're able to enhance my gear. Okay, yeah, it's just shitty versions of what I already have. Ah, you have good daggers! Nice! Uh, what is this, though? Crimson glares? That's not come some kind of- Come, 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 come. Some kind of mages thing? Probably. Stilettos, though. That- in, that actually increases our strength despite being level 1. We can go back to the encampment and get that increased to, like, way, way more powerful. Uh, we can get a better bow, too. Damn. Okay, we're actually going to buy some of this stuff. We're gonna, definitely going to get the bow. Stello's not that much of an upgrade for now, but it's definitely kind of worth it, I guess. Plus, enemies drop... Um, enemies just randomly drop... Weapons, I mean money all the time, so it's not exactly too much of a problem Plus I can make tons of money back on all this shit. I can't use uh, Legs legs legs. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to buy from you. What else do you have? Do you have a white cap? I mean we might as well. Oh my god. Look at you. That is adorable. We cannot go without that We are buying the white cap and what, is, what does the circlet do? Is that just head? Ah, uh, increases magic. We don't need that. <laughs> it's so clashing with the rest of our outfit, but it looks so adorable, I can't not. So, let's put that on you. Yes, you look beautiful. Uh, then we should go to Torso. Can we get anything decent here? We can get a chest guard, but it's, it's way heavier. It's way, way heavier, I believe, and I want to stick to light armor. But damn, is it good. Plus, uh, no, 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 it takes down our magic defenses by a lot. So we don't want any of that. Uh, no time to check arms. We can get bronze bagels. We don't want bronze bagels. Bagels are a Jewish food, and I'm pretty sure Judaism does not exist in this world. Let's not go with that. Uh, cloaks, no. Rose ring, huh? And a restless earring. What is that? Look at that! What do you... That's shock resistance, I think. But damn, that's good shit. Uh, you don't really do too much. Despite, what do you change? You change literally nothing, but slightly more magic defense. Yeah, no thanks. That's 30k. Maybe it's just because it's like a nice ring or something. Maybe it, maybe it's not even that good. Now, time to sell a ton of stuff to us, so I'll be right back. Oh, and here we have a knowledge chair. Now, I've been told about these, and goddamn do I look adorable. We can talk to, um, we can talk to Kokuva, and, okay, so Kokuva, right now, draws the uh the offense of really angry big men so he sort of just draws the biggest people off of us which right now i think is a good thing so yes as you wish my first target will be those firing projectiles or utilizing magic what why that's not what i said i, I never said that remain silent as the situation demands would you have me continue in this way master yeah do that okay I will attempt to be oh, I didn't say that. Don't be more talkative. And you see fit to help me. In what manner can I thank you? Um, uh, I get, what does reticent mean? I don't know what that means, but reticent. Okay, Pawn's manner of speech has changed. You fall and come to rise again. How shall I offer my support? Uh, da, 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 meek, because whatever. You're a meek little adorable little girl, even though you're a terrifying looking old man with boobs for some reason. Uh, are you, what are you? Why do you have like, it, it says you have a yellow thing above your head, but I don't remember what yellow means. So, now guys, I think we're actually going to end it off here. In the next episode, I'll sort of just go around Grand Sorum picking up some side quests and then do some of those side quests. So, Oh, for fuck's sake, Lotta, stop stealing everything from the new place. We gotta make these guys happy. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And the next one, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully the Arism will take his hand out of Cabal's genitals. But, hope you guys enjoyed. It's the Strike signing off. Goodbye. <laughs>